Okay, before I start today's LaunchBot's quick setup guide, if you like what you see today, hit notification, subscribe and like so you don't miss out on upcoming retro emulation content here on my channel, Just Jamie. That means you'll get notified every time I release a new setup guide and it also helps out my channel too. So from time to time, people will ask me or even tell me LaunchBox is very difficult to do. So with the latest version of this, which is stable release 13.14, LaunchBox, which I personally use myself, is easier than it ever has been. Let's just quickly download LaunchBox. What you're going to do is just go to Downloads Now for either Android or Windows. I'm going to go for Windows for this. Pop in your email address and then hit on Download. Go to your email address and download the link and you're going to end up with what I can see just here. This is LaunchBox 13.14 Setup. If you double left click on this one, and first of all, we're going to select a language. I'm going to choose, obviously, English for this. Press OK. And I set the agreement. Go to Next. Next thing we need to do is want to tell LaunchBox where to install to. So by default, this is going to go to my C drive. I'm going to leave it there and go to Next. And we're also going to go to Next on this part. And finally, Install. Okay, so LaunchBox is finally installed, so what we're going to do is just wait for this to populate local metadata. Okay, so automatically LaunchBox has detected a couple of programs which is imported. I don't want these, so I'm just going to right click, go to edit, delete, and yes. Okay, and what LaunchBox is doing right now is actually installing RetroArch, and we're going to need this. So as you can see, this is spinning around and around. It's just telling us this is actually installing. If we just close down these windows, we can see right here, install. We're going to leave that for a few minutes just to do its thing. Okay, so a bit of a glitch for some people out there, but once it says it's installing RetroArch and you find this is going on for hours and hours and it's not actually installing, but it seems like it's broken, what we're going to do is actually close down LaunchBox and actually go into this directory. So by default, in my case, it's gone to my C drive. So I'm going to go to this PC, C drive, and if I just scroll down, I'm going to find users. And I'm going to go into my system folder, which is Jamie. Obviously, your system folder is going to be something different. And here's my LaunchBox folder. So what we're going to do next is actually go into the games folder. And this is one of the reasons LaunchBox is so easy nowadays to use. It's created us an entire folder for the different systems that it supports. So in order to install RetroArch to use through LaunchBox in an easy way, I'm going to just go to the Sega Master System and then drag in some Sega Master System games into this folder. And I'm going to do the same with Super Nintendo. I'm just going to scroll down to Super Nintendo. And if I then add my SNES games inside of there. And because I'm a Big Box Premium user, whilst I'm in the directory where LaunchBox is stored, what I'm going to do is go to launchbox.exe. If I right click on launchbox.exe, show more options. From here, what I'm going to do is go to send to desktop create shortcut. I'm also going to do the same with Big Box. So rather than coming inside this directory every time I want to use it, I just go to show more options, send to and desktop. Now the next thing I'm going to do whilst I'm in the directory, like I say, because I'm a premium user, I've got a license just here. If I drag the license into that directory just there, if I open up Big Box in a minute, that should work fine. So anyway, let's continue with installing things. So I put my games into the LaunchBox directory and here is my shortcut. I'm going to delete the setup file that I've downloaded. So go to shortcut. And here we go. So what LaunchBox is actually doing now is just importing these games so we can actually see them. And it's also downloading our artwork for us. But we still don't have RetroArch. So if I was to click on one of these games and I go down to the bottom to press play, it's going to say RetroArch isn't installed. So this is the opportunity to actually install it. So yes, please install RetroArch. And at the top center, you can see downloading and installing RetroArch. We've also got a section here, consoles, Sega Master System, and here's my Super Nintendo games. 
And here we go, bottom right hand corner, RetroArch was installed successfully. If we just close out of there, what I'm going to do is open up one of my game scans. So if I left click on it and go to play. And here we go, we're now booting up into Super Nintendo. Now I've got a Bluetooth controller connected. just come out of that game I can either press the Xbox button on my controller and quit through RetroArch or if I press escape twice on my keyboard that'll bring us back into LaunchBox. So what I'm going to do next is actually show you BigBox itself. We just close out of here and open up BigBox because I made a shortcut for this. And here we go this is BigBox so we've got Sega Master System. And if I come out of here, we got our Super Nintendo set up too. So let's go back into Sega Master System. This time, if I go to launch a game, Sonic 2. And I'm going to play. Now, obviously, this is uh, in a stretch mode. So what we can do is very briefly just go into quick menu by pressing F1 on the keyboard. Or in my case, I'm pressing my Xbox button. If I just come out by pressing B, go to settings, video and scaling, I'm going to go down to aspect ratio and use 4x3. If I go back into the game, quick menu, resume. And that's it, so that's a very quick setup guide for a launch box and just showing you how big box is operated. So very cool stuff, and this is why I say launch box, big box is by far my favorite front end. Anyways, if you want more in-depth tutorials for a launch box, check out my launch box playlist. I've got a lot of setup guides for different systems, setting them up through launch box in there. Also check out my other front end emulation content and always hit notifications so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content and also feel free to join me on social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and TikTok but until next time, stay retro.